So you've been asked to give a devotion and you're thinking, help, what will I do? <laughs> well, relax, I've got the answer. In this video, I have 13 devotional ideas for you to give, completely free to use. Everything you need, other than you'll have to supply a screen or else use the screens of your audience's smartphones. The devotions consist of a short video, and I mean short, on average 47 seconds long to focus people's minds, to get them thinking as a discussion starter. Some suggested questions, a relevant Bible verse, and a suggested challenge. You can do them individually or combine them depending on how much time you have and the dynamics of the group. Each video is an allegory, just like the story Pilgrim's Progress was an allegory of the Christian life, so are these reflecting on our life as a road trip with Jesus. Each short video appears in this long video. However, they are available individually on my YouTube channel. Just go to www.youtube.com slash C slash Mike's story number. Then just go to the playlist, Road Trip with Jesus. In this video, I'll give you a suggested way of presenting them by after the video, asking some questions, then sharing a Bible verse, and then presenting them with a challenge. But you feel free to let your own creative juices flow. <laughs> so how would I introduce them? Well, I'd say, hi, do you like going on a road trip? They can be either great fun or terribly boring. Whether it is one or the other, depends on who's in the car with you. On the internet, I found this old guy who compares life with a road trip. Let's look at Road Trip with Jesus, episode one. Oh, it's Jesus knocking on my car window. Don't let him in. Why not? Mate, he's so boring, the road trip will take ages. He'll insist you follow the road rules. His taste in music is awful, and he'll take you on some narrow road, when we know the highway is the best way because it's the way everybody is going. Well, I don't know, mate. Listening to you, I've had breakdowns, accidents, run out of petrol, got lost, and you can't even change a flat. What will Mike do? Find out in Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 2. Okay, some questions to ask. What excuses does the devil put forward for keeping Jesus out? What reasons have you heard for keeping Jesus out of your life? Then a Bible verse, or two Bible verses. Jesus in the Bible says, The thief, that's the devil, comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I, that's Jesus, have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Jesus also says in the Bible, Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. Okay, now let's have a challenge. Something like this. What choice will Mike make? What choice will you make? If you want to choose Jesus and let him in, come and see me. And voila, you've just done the first devotional. Or if you had more time, before making the challenge, you could go to the next video. Or do it separately at a different time. Let's go to the next video now. Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 2. Why are you contemplating letting him in? He doesn't even exist. Just ignore him. But he's there. What's the matter? Aren't you having fun with me? Oh yeah, breakdowns, accidents, running out of petrol, getting lost, and finding you can't even change a tyre. Oh, that was heaps of fun. Well, what has he got to offer you? Well, he says his destination is one you can't beat. He can give me the directions and the resources to get there, and he'll always be with me on the trip. Not like you, when the going got tough, remember? You'll regret it. Will I? What will Mike do? Find out in Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 3. Okay, 
some questions to ask. What is a good reason to let Jesus in? What three reasons does Mike give for letting Jesus in? What other reasons would you give to let Jesus in? Then some Bible verses. Jesus in the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. And then a challenge. Would you like to invite Jesus in? Or, depending again on the time and other logistical situations, you could continue on to the third video. Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 3. Well, if he comes in, I'm leaving. Okay then. <coughs> oh, come on in, Jesus. Good to meet you, Mike. I I'm, I'm sorry about the mess and the, the stench. Leave it to me. Wow, it's like everything's new again. Will you do what Mike did? Don't miss out on Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 4. Okay, some questions to ask. You might frame it like this. Mike invites Jesus in, but is ashamed of the state his car is in. Likewise, we can be worried too inviting Jesus in because we don't feel worthy. But what does Jesus do when he comes in? What does Mike say in response? And a Bible verse. The Bible says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. And then a challenge. Jesus makes us like we are brand new. Some say that it is like being born all over again. Would you like to have Jesus come in and make you all new again? Then just pray this prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for coming into my life. Change me into the person you want me to be. Forgive me and deal with all the bad things in my life. Thank you. So, are you getting the idea? For the rest of the video, I will play the short video and then give you suggested questions, a relevant Bible verse or verses, and then a suggested challenge. But feel free to use them however you feel best. Okay? Let's go! Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 4 So Jesus, do you want to take the controls? No, Mike. I'm here to guide you, not to control you. Are you sure? I'm happy to give you anything. It's not sacrifice I want, but your obedience. So you'll tell me where to go? I'll give you the general direction and the destination we're aiming for. Remember, there are things to learn along the journey. Sort of like a sat-nav. Sort of, but just like a sat-nav, you can decide at any time to go your own way. No way! I've read the instruction manual. That road leads to destruction. Will Mike follow Jesus' directions? Don't miss Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 5. Questions to ask. What does Mike think Jesus is going to do? What does Jesus say he is interested in? Bible verses. When Jesus gave the Great Commission, he said, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. In John chapter 14, verse 23, Jesus says, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. In John 15, 14, Jesus says, You are my friends if you do what I command. In the Christian life, we will be faced with many decisions. Being a follower of Jesus means that we will choose to obey him and go his way. Here's a challenge. Are you facing a decision now? Are you deciding which way to go? Do you want help knowing which way Jesus would want you to go? Feel free to come and talk to me about it. Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 5 Get off the road, you moron! Did you see how he cut in? Same to you! If you had another brain, it would be lonely! What? Road rage is not my way. I don't want to hear you rave. I'd rather see a courtesy wave. 
but he did the wrong thing. I was in the right. But before I got in the car, you were doing similar things. But now that I'm here, drive like I would. Okay, mate. In you go. Are you happy? Will Mike make Jesus happy with his behaviour? Don't miss Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 6. Questions to ask. What's the matter with Mike? How does Jesus want him to behave? Bible verses. The Bible says that we are Christ's ambassadors, his representatives. And so what people need to see when they see us is the fruit of his spirit. These are set out in the Bible. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. And here's a challenge. In all things, we need to do what Jesus would do. We need to drive as Jesus would drive. Are you driving as Jesus would? Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 6. Oh no, cyclists! Get off the road! Pay your registration! Get in single file! Whoa, Mike! They are vulnerable road users. They don't have the horsepower you have. They don't have the inherent safety of your vehicle. A good reason they should stay at home. No, a good reason that you should treat them with respect and give them the right of way. Remember, now that I'm on the journey, we look after those who are weaker. Will Mike now care for the vulnerable? Don't miss Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 7. Some questions to ask. Who does Mike have no patience for? What does Jesus say? Who are the weak that you know of? How can you help to defend them? And a Bible verse. The Bible continually says that we must defend the weak and the fatherless, uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed, and then give a challenge like, let's ask God now to help us identify and defend the weak that he introduces us to. Maybe pray with them. Lord, help us not to oppress the weak by our actions, words, or indifference, but help us instead to uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed. Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 7. Oh Jesus, why did you direct me through the narrow gate? This road is narrow and, and dangerous. Huh. And we, we're the only ones on it. If we had gone the highway, we would have been able to stop at a Maccas every hour. Mike, stop. Look at the view. Oh, wow. That is why I told you to go through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Will Mike keep going Jesus' way? Don't miss Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 8. Some questions to ask. What is Mike unhappy about? What does Jesus offer instead? And then a Bible verse. Jesus says in the Bible, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. And then a challenge. The best things usually cost more. We may think the cost of following Jesus is great until we come to understand what it is that he offers us. Jesus wants you to follow him. Are you prepared to go the narrow way? Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 8. I'll have two steak sandwiches, thanks. You're not getting anything. I saw the guy with the halo in the car. <laughs> you lot aren't welcome here. Go on. Get, okay, get. settle down. I'm going, I'm going. I can't believe that man treated me like that. Remember what I told you? A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. But you'll punish him, won't you? Like, like blow up his shop or something. What I really want is for him to join us in the journey. So I'll give him some more chances yet. You see, I'm not willing that any should perish. Well, if it was up to me... Well, thank goodness it isn't, Mike. Anyway, 
Let's try the next roadhouse. Mike doesn't like being persecuted. Don't miss Road Trip with Jesus, number nine. Some questions to ask. Have you been picked on or excluded or made fun of because you are a follower of Jesus? What does Jesus say to Mike? And then a Bible verse. The Apostle Paul suffered a lot of persecution, but is recorded as saying, but whatever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ. Then offer a challenge. Ask your group to pray with you that they will be able to sustain any persecution that comes their way and also for those who are undergoing persecution today. Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 9 The weather's terrible and we've broken down. I didn't think we'd break down with you in the car. I never promised that the trip would be easy, just that I'd be with you through it all. Can't you, you know, just produce a new car for us to drive in? I will when we get to our destination. But for now, let's roll up our sleeves together and get this back on the road. You're not going to do it for me? What would you learn then, Mike? Despite what happens, Jesus is always with Mike and teaches him lessons through the problems they face together. Don't miss Road Trip with Jesus, Episode 10. Some questions to ask. Do bad things happen to Christians? What does Jesus say? And then a Bible verse. In fact, he says in the Bible, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And then give a challenge. Are you going through troubles now? Be assured that God is still in charge and will be with you throughout. Ask him to let you be aware of his presence today. Road Trip with Jesus, episode number 10. Oh mate, thanks for stopping and helping me change the tyre. Well, thank this guy. He's the guy that taught me how to do it and encouraged me to stop. Well, he's a bonza bloke. He's great company too. Do you want him to come into your car and help you on your journey? Oh, would he? Sure. But, but... Wouldn't you miss him? No, he'll still be in my car as well. He can do that sort of thing. Mike loves introducing Jesus to others. Join us in the next episode, Road Trip with Jesus, episode 11. Some questions to ask. What is Mike doing that impresses the stranger? Who does Mike introduce the stranger to? Then a Bible verse. The Bible says, always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. And do this with gentleness and respect. Then, a challenge to give. If someone was to ask you about your faith, would you know what to say? At this point, I would ask my listeners if anyone wanted help in how to share their faith. There are lots of resources to help people tell others about Jesus. I think it's important not just, not just to tell people this is what they should be doing, but give them some help in how to do it. Over to you on that one. Road Trip with Jesus, episode 11. Ooh, hello. G'day, gorgeous. Want to get in? Yes. Sorry, Jesus, but you'll have to get into the back seat. So, can I have your heart? It's all yours, baby. What are you doing? Got tired of it. Got tired of you. Pull over, turtles. I'm getting out. I'm sorry, Jesus. Please come back into the front seat. Unless, well, unless you want to leave too. Mike, I'll never leave you or forsake you. Don't make Mike's mistake. Keep Jesus in the front seat. Join us in the next episode of Road Trip with Jesus, episode 12. Some questions to ask. Who came first in Mike's world at the start of the video? What did Mike do with Jesus? When Mike was disappointed, who stayed with him? 
a couple of Bible verses. The Bible tells us if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Again, Jesus says that God's kingdom is to be our first priority. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Finish with a challenge. Who has first priority in your life? Is it Jesus? If it isn't, but you realize it should, then pray this prayer with me. Forgive me, Jesus, for not giving you first place in my life. I apologize that I have let other things crowd you out. Please forgive me and help me keep you in the front seat of my life. Road Trip with Jesus, episode 12. I don't think I like this place. What's it called? The Valley of the Shadow of Death. Can I stay in the car? No, we have to leave this old jalopy and go on foot from here. I'm scared. Yes, I know. I've gone through here before. But don't worry, I'll be right next to you. And when we get through it, well, I'll have a brand new car for you to drive. Are you ready? Okay. Mike's glad he is not alone in the Valley of Death. Don't you be either. Join us in the next episode of Road Trip with Jesus, episode 13. A question to ask. Have you ever been in a scary place? Or been in a position where you tried to do something or go somewhere you didn't want to? How does Jesus comfort Mike? Some Bible verses. The Bible says, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And then give a challenge. Is there something that is worrying you at the moment? Are you in a place that you don't like? No matter what, Jesus wants you to know that he is there with you. Road Trip with Jesus, episode 13. Wow! Is that really my car? Sure is. All ready for an infinite number of adventures and discoveries. You mean I, I still have driving to do here? Sure do, and quite a lot of work to do also. Trust me, I made you like me. We are both creative. You wouldn't be happy long without discoveries, challenges, and ways to express your creativity. Can I send a message back to my friends and family to let you take them here too? <laughs> Trust me, even if someone came back, many would still not take up the offer. Will you take up the offer to have Jesus on your road trip? <laughs> That's the end of the series. Want to know more? Give us a hoy in the comments and God bless. Some questions to ask. What does Mike want Jesus to organize? How does Jesus respond? Then some Bible verses. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen me and yet have believed. And then a challenge. Do you know where you're going? If you want to know, come and talk to me. Yay! Well, congratulations. If you've watched this video right through to the end, I hope it's given you some ideas for devotions. If you decide to go with any, please, please let me know in the comments section below. Let me know how you went and what, if anything, you would do differently if you were to do it again so others may learn from your experiences. Thanks for watching. God bless.